Hey you guys, I am so, so excited to finally uh, be able to share my skin routine with you guys because this has been like such a long journey for me that I'm so happy to just be able to share it with other people and hopefully help other people who have been struggling with acne like myself. I've had acne now for, since I was 12, so 13 years. I can't even believe that. Just like saying that makes me want to cry. It's been 13 years of my life. I'm just like, what? What? But I'm so excited to say um, that I've got it down to basically, basically like no acne. Like sometimes, you know, I'll get like a hormonal breakout or I'll get them like on my neck like on my chin where my my old dermatologist would tell me which is like a hormonal breakout for my birth control so I'm, I'm okay with that. The reason I post so many like before and after pictures is because I'm not like afraid of anyone thinks anymore. Um, I've just been made fun of so many times since I was a kid like kids would call me pizza face, um, people didn't want to date me, people didn't even want to be friends with me so uh, basically I've just come to this point where uh, I don't really give a shit what people think so I post before and after pictures and I want to make other people feel better I want to make people feel like they're not alone Instagram is kind of uh, near and dear to my heart in a way because I realized uh, there was a lot of other people like me at the end of the day I just want to help people other people with acne struggling like I did because god forbid they get made fun of at school because kids can be so mean I don't think people should be bullied for um, you know their skin it's not something they can control you know unless you're unintentionally you know not washing your face after you put makeup on but I know people like such mean comments like you she should wash her face blah 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 like people with acne that's all they do that's all they do is wash their face and um, nobody wants to have acne it's not like who it's not a fun thing I know everybody has different skin uh, but who knows, maybe this will work for you and uh, maybe you'll see even, you know, a little bit of difference. So that's the goal. I just want to help people move on and be able to feel confident in themselves because um, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't feel confident, um, you know, with my natural skin, but I'm getting there and uh, the products I'm using now have definitely helped me feel better. So if you guys stick around, I will show you what I use. I've had this makeup on all day long, so I'm definitely ready to take it off. It's been a long ass day. The first thing I'm gonna do is take these eyelashes off. Praise the Lord. First thing I reach for uh, in my skincare is baby wipes. And these are great because they're cheap. $1.89 for 120. So I can use like three at one time and not even feel bad about it. Walgreens, people. So I'm gonna start off with one here. and just start wiping away the foundation. Okay, so here's the first baby wipe. It's pretty damn dirty. I used to just wash my face with like my cleanser and I was like, oh yeah, that, that's so good. Like it looks so fresh and clean. And then I think that's the main reason I was breaking out is because there's still all this, you know, makeup stuck in your pores. I would just go to bed thinking it was all gravy and I would break out. Uh, acne runs in my family. I know it's genetic, but I know that I can definitely help it more if I get all the makeup off my skin. So I'm gonna grab another face wipe and just really, really clean it up good this time. Okay, then I'm gonna still keep that makeup wipe by my side. And for my eye makeup, I'm gonna be using uh, baby oil. This stuff is so amazing because, well, duh, it's for babies, so it's really uh, delicate. And I just take a Q-tip and I get this all saturated. And then I just rub it all over my eye and on my eyelashes just to like break down that mascara. And it seriously just melts right off. Like you could get this in your eye and you'd be like dee dee dee. Then after we're done with the baby wipes, I'm gonna be using this micellar water. I got a sample of this in the mail and absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it just basically is like the last step to really taking off all of my makeup. I take a, what is this called? 
I'm having a brain fart right now. A cotton ball, duh. And I get it soaked. And then I just wipe it all around my face. And it says it cleanses, removes makeup, and hydrates. Super kind to the skin, no harsh chemicals, artificial perfumes, or dyes. I really like this brand. I've never had any problem with it. So as you can see, there's a little bit of color on there and that's exactly why I do this last step because who would have thought? You would you would think like all the makeup is off, but no, it's not. And then for a uh, face wash, I use this stuff called Pyrithione Zinc, I believe it's called. My coworker showed me this stuff and uh, it's like a soap and I was like, ugh, soap. Soap, I just feel like it dries your skin out because anything I've ever tried, I've been told like, don't use that. Uh, but this stuff is just like amazing. I can't I'm really remember exactly what, um, it's for like rosacea and red skin and all that, but uh, it actually really helps clear up my skin. So this is the first thing I started using that I really noticed a difference with. And this is what it kind of looks like. Kind of has a little bit of exfoliator in it. Um, I can't really remember the ingredients right now. You guys can look it up, I'll put the link below. Um, but I'm gonna go wash my face with this and I will be right back. So the first thing I'm gonna do, obviously, is wash my hands because who knows where these hands have been all day long. I've been eating food and doing God knows what else. Um, so you need to make sure your hands are clean before you touch your face because that's there's a lot of nasty oils on there. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, dampen my face. Then I'm gonna take the little bar I told you guys about and just rub that all over my face. And a little goes a long way. Like I said, there's kind of like a little exfoliator in there. So I'm basically gonna rub it all over there with my hands into my hairline. Just make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm gonna rinse it off. Okay, so now that our face is super, super duper clean, we're gonna go on to moisturizers and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna grab another cotton ball and I'm gonna grab my toner, which is also from the Simple brand. Looks like this. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is reach for my moisturizer, which is actually from Image Skincare. And this is called the Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. This stuff is so, it's my favorite. It smells like oranges, but really like throughout the day, it's super moisturized. I just get one big pump of that and put it all over my face and neck. Each application of things, I wait like 30 seconds just so each thing can kind of soak into the skin and really do its job. Then for my under eye cream, I use also from Image Skincare. This is the Balancing Eye Lift Gel. I really like this stuff too. Um, and anything that says eye lift, uh, hi, just use like that much. This stuff lasts me forever. And I just rub it underneath the eyes and right onto my wrinkles there. For any nasty zits or anything I have uh, that's like fresh or anything like that, I use um, benzoyl peroxide, which is what I got from my dermatologist like forever ago. And uh, it's an amazing spa treatment. Like if you have a zit, put it on that shit. The next day it will be like pretty much gone. I'll just put it on the little spots here and there. So out of all of the things I just showed you guys, the main reason my skin started clearing up so good, I like one day just was like, hey, I'm having kind of a craving for kiwis. And then the next day I was like, I think I'm gonna get some more, like they were pretty good. And then I was like, holy shit, my skin, my skin is really clear. Like I don't, I don't know what it could be. And I just kept eating the kiwis and ever since like my skin has just like stayed clear like I have maybe one or two here and there but that is crazy a crazy difference compared to like five or ten that I would have every single day I'm obsessed with kiwis I just cut this one up I eat about two to four every single day and um, they're really good for you like uh, they have like ten times the vitamin C amount that oranges do and like they're just so good for you and they're a super fruit so I'm all for it. Um, I definitely think this is like the magical, the most magical thing to enter my life recently and uh, I would suggest trying it to anyone. Thank you guys so much for watching my skin journey and I hope you guys figure out 
um, what helps yours. And I will put all the links down below for what I used. And I will see you guys next time.